Hello everyone, Blackbox here. In this short video I'll be showing you how to fly a go-around. We're flying an approach into London Heathrow, runway 27 right. Now the weather is pretty bad. We have uh, very strong winds from the south and uh, several aircraft already had to go around. Currently the crosswind is uh, pretty close to our maximum allowable. So we'll start the approach and have a look how it goes. You can see it on the navigation display. Um, we have some uh, pretty strong wind gusts as well. Now since there is a possibility of wind shear, I've uh, decided to do a config 3 approach, which will increase the climb performance. Flaps 2, glide slope star and gear down. Go around altitude 3000 feet set. Flaps 3. Now since a go-around is uh, much more likely in these conditions, it's a good idea to review the go-around procedure. So once uh, either pilot calls out go-around, the pilot flying moves the thrust levers full forward to the toga notch. If he's flying manually, he'll pull back the stick and rotate the aircraft into a pitch of about plus 15 degrees. At the same time, he'll call out flaps and the pilot monitoring will retract the flaps by one step. Then the pilot flying will check the FMA modes and call them out. Then the pilot monitoring will check the climb rate and call out positive climb. Thereafter pilot flying orders gear up and the pilot monitoring selects the gear lever up. After that things will quiet down a little bit and you can have a look whether or not to select nav mode or heading mode, whatever you prefer. And it also may be a good idea to re-engage the autopilot to reduce the workload. Next up at the thrust reduction and acceleration height, the thrust lever is moved back two notches into the climb notch. And then the aircraft is accelerated and the flaps are retracted step by step to the upper position. Okay, that's in theory, and now let's have a look how it's done practically. Five hundred. Wind is exceeding limits. Go around. Flaps. Flaps 2. SRS go on track out blue. Positive climb. Gear up. Nuff. Autopilot 1. 
Mantoga Auto Thrust Blue. And Art Star Speed Auto Thrust. Now we can see that there's a lot of things happening pretty much at the same time. That's why you as a pilot have to remember these steps by heart. Another thing which will take some time to get used to is the use of the autopilot flight director system. But uh, then again, the more you practice, the uh, easier it will become. As always, if you have some more questions regarding uh, the go around procedure, post a comment down below and uh, I promise I will try to answer as quickly as I can. That's all for now. As always, happy landings and I'll see you in the next one.